clearing up confusion, a state task force just released a list of recommendations aimed at helping ex-felons figure out if they're eligible to vote. It comes after a new law requiring inmates pay all fines, fees and restitution before registering to vote. State Capitol reporter Farah Saunders found out a recent court ruling is making this issue even murkier. For former felon turned pastor Greg James, U.S. District Judge Robert Hinkle's injunction is a godsend. Though it technically affects only the 17 filing suit against the state's new law, James sees it as a step forward for hundreds of thousands of Florida felons who can't pay to vote. And even if you got a fine, poor people matter. Fueled by optimism, the ruling has James on the road, traveling the state to encourage other ex-inmates to register ahead of 2020. We have become the most valuable group in the state of Florida. I'm Secretary of State. For election officials, a different story, a new headache. As of today, this is a very challenging process for us. A state task force just released 18 recommendations to lawmakers aimed at improving how Florida can determine if ex-felons have paid fines owed. It includes more bureaucrats, work for clerk of court offices, and centralizing data. But the weeks of work may need to be tossed if the judge's decision becomes permanent at the lawsuit's end. We are still reviewing the potential broader impact of Judge Hinkle's order. Florida to Secretary of State saying she's waiting to see what happens next before acting. We'll await any further clarification from uh, the court or the legislature. But time is ticking as Election Day 2020 grows closer and closer. Many ex-felons left in limbo, wondering if they'll be able to vote. James telling them to have faith. We got to stay in the fight. We got to register. In Tallahassee, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.